Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video <laughs> all about my tarot books, my witchy books, my spiritual related books, and all of the above. Um, you guys, um, I had put out a request on Instagram today asking you guys to let me know what kind of a video did you want to see me film and a lot of you wanted to see <laughs> wanted to see my books um i guess because the the bookshelf kind of peeks through on some of my reading videos so yeah so let's get right into it um so right here is the bookshelf that is um one of the two that i have in my little tarot room so this one has my tarot books spiritual um, astrology, witchy, demon books. <laughs> and then the bookshelf on the other side of the room has more of like my fiction, my fantasy, like all of those that I like to read. So let's just get into it. If you hear a noise, I have a fan going on because <laughs> it's a little, it's getting a little warm in the house. Um, it was a little hot today. So kind of getting used to the whole shifting of the seasons now um and yeah so <laughs> if you hear a little buzzing noise it's the fan okay um so basically let's just go through this whole thing i am not gonna show you every single book that i have um because that that will take forever but all of my tarot books and this isn't even all of them um i still have i think i still have two boxes in the garage that still have books in them <laughs> And it's a mixture. It's a mixture of like witchy books and also um, more of like my fiction stuff. But I haven't gotten to them because I don't have space and I really don't want to bring in more stuff. So they're just packed away in the garage until I'm ready to touch them. <laughs> so these, this isn't even all of it, but you know. Um, so my tarot books, I put all on the top. I keep a lot of like my guidebooks that I I find really valuable or that are just different. Um, I don't like to keep, I, well, okay, I'll keep some of them, some of the little white books that come in the tarot boxes, but for the most part, I throw them away. <laughs> I very, very, very rarely look at the little white book that comes with a deck. Um, but if there are guidebooks, that come with a deck um, that are more substance based I will keep those and I like to put them on my bookshelf um, I don't like to keep them with the deck I don't know I'm weird like that but it's only some of them so um, the witch's tarot no the wizard's tarot is one of them um, this one's really cool it has a lot of really good insights for the cards um, the Bohemian Gothic Tarot, definitely. This is one I'm actually picking through, reading up on a little bit. Um, so this one is a special one. <laughs> Art of Love Tarot. I have my, um, I have actually two guidebooks from the Wild Unknown Tarot. One of them is for the first edition. The other one was for the second edition. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which one was which. Um, I, I'm sure it says in the edition, like in the front, but I have two copies. So I'm pretty sure if I look at the spine, this one looks more used. This may be the second edition because I obtained the second edition first. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, and then the animal spirit, which I'm always pulling that one. You guys always see me reaching for that one in my, um, my videos, um, I have some other guidebooks. I have the Psychic Tarot. I have the one for the Connected and Free. Um, I have the Dragon Tarot. Um, and those are like basically, those are the guidebooks that I have. Um, I try to like be somewhat organized here. I try to go by size of the book, <laughs> but you know how that is. Um, so some other fun tarot books that I have, I have a tarot for dummies. That one's actually really good. So if any of you guys are looking for a tarot, like a cheap tarot book that kind of goes over everything, tarot for dummies is actually really, really good. And I have, um, it's not here cause I, like I said, it's in a box, but I have an astrology for dummies, I think, or, or 
the dummy's guide to astrology or something like that these books are actually really informative so I don't knock it <laughs> um, don't knock it it's actually pretty good I have to put that away later I have both editions of the 78 degrees of wisdom the um, the reddest one is the most newest one this is the the one I studied off of it's my baby um, this one I found at a thrift store, Spiritual Tarot. I haven't even read it. I have, I mean, some of these books I've never even read before. That's how bad I am. Um, I haven't read this one. It was six bucks. I found it at a thrift store for six dollars. So this is 78 Paths to Personal Development. Um, let the ancient power of tarot illuminate your path in life. So that might be kind of fun to do some journal prompts and stuff with, but like I said, I haven't picked it up yet, but it's there. Um, this one is a really good pocket book for tarot if you guys are looking for something to study off of and that's not taking up a lot of space that you could just throw in your bag. The only tarot book you'll ever need um, by Sky Alexander. I got this one at Barnes & Noble. It's a really good one. It goes through every single card um, and it has spreads too. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully I don't start sneezing because of the dust. <laughs> uh, it's a little hard to put these away. Okay, so then I have more tarot guidebooks. I have Tarot of the Holy Light, the Witch's Tarot Companion, the Witch's Tarot, um, the Demon Tarot, which I'm happy that I found this guy. I found him in my box. When I was unpacking I was looking for this everywhere and I remember I had to bug people <laughs> I felt so bad but I had to bug some of my tarot reader friends to take a picture of the demon tarot card that I had pulled so I could see the guidebook de definition for it because I couldn't find my book so now that I have it I'm super set for fall when I use that deck <laughs> and I won't have to bug anybody <laughs> Um, the holistic tarot, funny story, this one actually belongs to one of the libraries I used to work at, but I, when I left, I totally forgot that I had the book and I never returned it, so that's a bad one. Don't do that. <laughs> um, Psychic Junkie, this is actually a fiction read, um, and I found this copy at the, um, another thrift store. Psychic Junkie, it's, um, a memoir. And it's, um, and I can't even read because some of the stickers are on here, but um, it's a memoir of Sarah Lasez. Lasez. Um, <clears throat> she's an actress, an indie film actress. But anyway, this is a, like, I don't, I want to say it's like, it's kind of fiction, but it says it's a memoir, so I don't know how true it is. But it was really good. So it's basically about a woman's obsession with getting tarot readings, and it's like her whole journey becoming like, I don't even remember if she becomes a reader herself, but it's her obsession with pulling cards. Like she's, you know how like they say like, um, some people are so obsessed with like getting their psychic readings done that they go every week and they spend so much money. That's what this book is about. It's really, really good. <laughs> and who wouldn't like, um, who wouldn't like a, you know, a nice fiction read to read with the, about the tarot. So read that one, you guys, Psychic Junkie. <laughs> Um, and then I have some more books, Tarot Diva, Tarot and Astrology, which is a really, really, really good book, and Tarot and Chakras, which is another really, really, really good book. So those are my tarot books. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to go and organize this later. <laughs> it's hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so then on this side... I have all of my astrology books for the most part. Most of them are here. Um, so I really love astrology and I tend to find a lot of astrology books secondhand, which is really exciting, like this one. This is the Astrologer's Handbook. It's a really old one. I think when I, you look at the publication. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> 1973 so this one's back in the 70s and I remember it was in the book drop at work I find a lot of them in book drops at work um when people donate so and then all of my co-workers get to know me like they know I'm into this stuff so they save it for me so it's kind of a perk of working in the library um 
the sextrology. I've always wanted this book and I got this one like two months ago. I've only barely begun reading it. I've been reading up on my husband's sign. <laughs> but it's really, really good. It's juicy. So it talks about like your sexual chemistry with other signs and your sign yourself, like what kind of sexual things you like. It's really interesting. So if you're into that, um, I have, oh, here it is. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Astrology. This is a really good book. This is the fourth edition. I got this one off Amazon for super cheap. It's actually really, really good. It's really informative. I have pieces of it highlighted. I went through and like found all of my information and I highlighted it. Super good. Um, this is the Mapping Your Sex Life. It's astrology based. I found this one in a thrift store as well. And then over here I have Moon Signs. This one's really good. This is by Sarah Fenton. This is another old one. Um, 1987. So it's almost as old as I am. <laughs> um, this is a really, really good book. It talks about the moon signs. And so I was for a while I was doing like moon readings, um, tarot based, but I was also giving some insight on your moon sign. So I was using that book all the time. Um, this is t Astrology, Money, and You. It's a really old one. I found it at a thrift store. I've never read it. So there's another one. Um, tarot and Astrology. This one's really good. It's also an old one. I have a lot of old astrology books that I find. From 19... Uh, well, it says 1941, 69, like a bunch of different editions, but it's old just by looking at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a tarot and astrology is a fun thing to study. Um, especially if you're into astrology, but you're also into tarot and you could blend the two. That's always fun. Um, this one, oh, this one was another vintage find, um, that I found at the library I work at now. At first, I thought it was just some random book. And then when I looked closer, closer, I was like, aspects. Aspects, that's astrology. So <laughs> it's called Aspects and Other Meanings. This one is from 1976. It's a reprint. It's so old, but it talks about the aspects in astrology. It's really, really, really good. I, I've looked over that one a couple times. It's, it's just like one of those things when you're studying astrology, you, <coughs> you'll like pull out all of your books and you'll use different books for certain things. This is keywords for astrology. That one's pretty interesting. The stars within you. That's a new one I got at Barnes and Noble. And then um, Jan Spiller's Astrology for the Soul. That talks about the um, North and South nodes. That book is really good. But I'm not going to pull it out because it's like all in here. Oh, maybe I should just pull this out. <laughs> okay this one was in the book drop also at work not the, not my current job but um another library i worked at this is called the complete astrologer as you can see it's a big ass book you have no idea how excited i was when i found this <laughs> someone donated it um oh i didn't even know that was in there <laughs> okay this is from, oh, and then there's a note in here from 95. Um, it says, Shelly, I hope, I hope this book will be useful to you. Thank you for being such a good friend. I don't know how I would, how I would survive without you. Your friend always, Shannon. How cute. So, so, <laughs> one friend bought it for another. Look at how pretty that vintage sun. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't even check to see how old this book is. Copyright 1971. So I have a lot of my astrology books from the 70s. But the contents is astrology in the man, celestial mechanics, um, interpretations of the birth chart. Look at that. I, I, I honestly, I really liked it looking through it because of the pictures. Like you have some really cool... Really cool photos in here. Look at this. 
This is the, what is this called? Anatomy and the planets. So it shows the, the female body and then it's like all of the planets, like where they focus on in the body. Isn't that weird? Freaking love it. I have to retape this. It's all coming off. <laughs> um, but yeah. What else? It's just really old. Look at this. Aries. <laughs> Let's just see what Pisces looks like. Why not? Look at Pisces. So yeah, that's a really fun one. Okay. Um, and then <clears throat> over here, <laughs> over here we have my um, spiritual journey, getting my mojo back kind of stuff. Um, so we have the, the women who run wild with the wolves. I have material girl mystical world, which this one was a really good book. So if any of you guys are looking for something to read, this one's good. Oh my gosh. So this one <clears throat> from deep space with love. This is a conversation about consciousness, the universe and building a better world. It's basically someone channeling aliens and they answer the aliens answer questions. That's what this book is about. Really good. Um, I have um, some mediumship books here. I have The Angel Detox by Doreen Virtue. <laughs> um, I have Witches of America. Some Another Doreen Virtue book. I have The Warrior Goddess in Training. Um, Gabrielle Bernstein. I have some of her books. Um... I have Witch. Ooh, I have Moon Time. This one is about um, cycling your, your menstrual cycle with the moon phases. That one's really interesting. This one's You Are Amazing. It's by um, Sonia and Sabrina Choquette. Her daughters. Um... Some more Gabrielle Bernstein books and Earth Angels. So I have a couple Doreen Virtue books in here. It's just such a pity about Doreen. <laughs> um, okay, and then down here, I have Crystal books. I have um, Animal Spirit um, books. So sometimes like if I'm seeing an animal and I don't have a deck nearby, I will usually pull this book out, look for the animal, and then read for the client. I have um, books on dreams, some more mediumship books, and I have my demon books. <laughs> so I have The Demonologist, um, The Extraordinary Career of Ed and Lorraine Warren. It's a spooky read. And Demons and Familiars, a, Tem a Tem Contemporary Guide of Demonology by Melinda K. Lyons. So I have my little demon books too. Some spooky reads. And then Visitors Behind Our Stars. I found this one at a used bookstore. This one was pretty cool. It's um, it's a book based on someone's true experiences with extraterrestrials when they contact her. So <laughs> I have a whole bunch of like just weird, weird books. Really weird books, but you know, it works because <coughs> it's what I'm into. So that is my little tour of all of my spiritual books, my tarot books and whatnot. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you guys later. Bye loves.